We've all seen that poor boater on the side of the highway broken down, their trailer obviously in distress. Don't be that person. Stick around to find out common boat trailer mistakes on today's video. Hi, I'm Sean from Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. And it's really common to see people broken down on the side of the highway. And in fact, us as marine dealers, it happens to us all the time as well. Trailers take a lot of abuse and they have to go under extreme loads. And the reality is we don't probably pay enough attention to them. So in today's video, we're gonna go over the common mistakes of things that people don't check on a regular basis and talk about how you would briefly check them and give you warning signs in case you need to have your trailer serviced. So let's start at the front of the trailer. Every time you use your trailer, you should check the strap or the chain or the rope that holds the boat. You're gonna to wanna to look for things like tears and weather aging and the strap looking like it's about to break. I can't tell you how many times we find trailer straps or wind straps that basically look like they wouldn't hold any weight at all and or tied in a knot that it was clearly not from the factory and they should be replaced. So take a look at it, make sure that it looks fine. You're gonna to wanna to check your chains and your lights. You wanna make sure your chains don't look like they're about to fray and break. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your light plug is in good condition and doesn't have corrosion on it. That way you make sure your lights are working properly. And definitely when you hook it to your vehicle, you're gonna to wanna to test every single time to make sure your lights are working by either yourself switching on your four-way flashers and your turn signals or touching the brakes and make sure they work and your running lights work. So after you've checked the strap and the lights, you're gonna move on and check to make sure that where if you have a swing tongue that you've got the pin in there and that everything looks like it's okay, you're gonna to wanna to look at the front hitch and make sure that it latches down properly and that you have the safety pin to install. Those are all the basics and you wanna check those every single time. As you move to the back of the trailer, you're gonna to wanna to look for things like oil oozing out of your bearings. Does it look like those bearings are leaking and make sure that the, the lubricant is still in them. You're gonna to wanna to inspect the tires. After every single trip to the ramp and back or to your cottage and back, you're gonna to wanna to make sure there's no visible damage from punctures or hitting curbs. Make sure there's no slices. And make sure that the tread itself has lots of wear. We find that trailer tires from trailer manufacturers aren't the highest quality often. That's one way they keep the price down and so they really don't last that long. And trailer tires sit out in the sun all season long, and they often sit with weight on them, or they often sit and get weather beaten. And you can find over the years that we pay really close attention to the boat, but not so much to the tires. So have a good look at the tires, make sure they're okay, and that there's no abnormal wear or damage. And then every season, at least you're gonna to wanna to jack the trailer up and you're gonna to wanna to check the bearings. And you do that by spinning the wheel and making sure that there's no strange noises. So you're gonna to wanna to listen for a rubbing sound or a wear in the bearings, which may show the wheel hesitating as it rotates. And you're gonna to wanna to take the wheel and you're gonna to wanna to move it back and forth and make sure there's no excess play. Definitely do that at least once a year. The other thing you should do at least a couple times a season is check the torque specs on your trailer wheels. They often come loose because there's a lot of tension on them as you go around tight corners the, and the rims and nuts are not designed well enough to keep that torque all the time. So we check wheel torques consistently. After you've checked the bearings, you're gonna wanna go to the back and check to make sure your rear straps are in good shape and still functioning properly if they're built into the trailer. You want to look to make sure that any of the reflective markers are still intact and in place. They often get damaged and aren't there anymore, and you can get tickets for not having those. And like I said before, once you have the trailer hooked up to your tow vehicle, you're going to want to 
check your lights. Another thing for you to check on your trailer on a regular basis is the condition of the bunks. This is where the majority of the weight of your boat is going to sit, if not all the weight. And we find that often the carpeted ones hold moisture against the trailer bunk and these things rot out remarkably quick. So give them a good push and make sure that they're strong. We see them all the time break very close to where the bracket is because there's a lot of weight there. And then at the bracket, that's where there are holes drilled in and moisture gets into the wood. Another thing for you to check every once in a while, if not every trip, then every couple trips, is your tire pressure. You're definitely gonna do an inspection to see if there's any softness to the tire, whether you do it by pressing or you actually just look for the trailer to have some sag in the bottom of the tire. But definitely you're gonna to wanna to get yourself a tire pressure gauge and check these. And you should always check them cold because when the tires are warm and you've been going down the highway for quite a while, the air inside warms up and expands and that increases the pressure. So when the trailer's been sitting, you want to look on the side of the trailer for the tire pressure specification and then you're going to want to check those and make sure that they match. When you're inspecting the tire, you're going to be looking for wear and also these visible cracks which show you that this tire is about to fail. Here's a little tip for you on your trailer tires. There's actually a DOT number stamped in the side and that's the year of manufacture. So you're gonna to wanna to look for that DOT and the two last digits, which were the year that it was manufactured. And technically, the tires are only good for 10 years. So if you have a DOT number that's anything older than 10 years, you're gonna to wanna to replace that tire because not only is it prone to failure from weather cracking and age, but you can get a ticket. When you own a car, you think all the time about your tire condition, your brakes, and all those components because your life depends on it. And your boat isn't a living person, so it's a little less critical than you and your family going down the highway. But not having your trailer in good condition can cause you all kinds of grief and headache, both monetarily, time, and there is a safety concern there because the other drivers on the road can be impacted too. Thank you for joining us on Lens Cove Lessons in Boating for today's video. Remember to like this video and subscribe for more. Be safe, have fun, and we'll see you out on the water.